Hello everyone, thanks for tuning to today's first video. We're doing the first Spring 2020 update for today's first video. So we're going to go through 13 long range seasonal models and we're going to see what they're all showing for the spring of 2020 for the first time this uh, season. So it's going to be quite a long video. If you can't watch it all in one go, then it will be placed on the Spring Updates page later on. Uh, today with a written summary going over everything that we discuss in the video. I'll get that up for you this evening. Coming up later on uh, this afternoon, we're going to have a weekend forecast. We'll on Saturday, you'll weekend look at. And uh, we'll also have, of course, a regular week Sunday video update as well. Those two might be a little bit later uh, than uh, normal. I'm going to be busy this morning. They might be a little bit late, so it might be a little bit later. But I will get them done uh, this afternoon. Busy old day coming up tomorrow as well. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Right, let's get on with it then. Going to start off with the uh, JMA um, seasonal model. Now, this one only covers the period of February, March and April. So it doesn't cover the full spring period. Everything else that you see after this one will cover the full spring 2020 uh, period. But at the moment, this one, JMA, only covers February, March, April. Um, so this is 500 millibar heights for the free monthly period of February, March and April. It's an anti-cyclonic signal, definitely above average heights. High pressure centred right over top of the country. Below average heights out to the northwest, the jet stream pushing northwards. There's a lot of high pressure on offer through this free monthly period. And we did the month-by-month um, -month breakdown with this on Thursday. So if you want to see how this breaks down month-by-month, -month, we haven't got time to go through that for this video. But if you want to see how the JMA breaks down month-by-month, -month, then you can certainly have a look at that video that we did on Thursday. Uh, so, with this one, high pressure's in control for February, March and April too. That means we come away with a slightly um, warmer than average spring, or sort of early to mid-spring anyway. Haven't got May yet, but early to mid-spring comes out above average with temperature. Anomaly and precipitation-wise, away from the north of Scotland, it looks like a rather drier than average month as well. Most parts... Uh, sort of free monthly season, I should say. Most parts of um, sort of Europe also looking quite dry there as well from February, March, uh, for February, March and April. The wind direction for February, March, April looks like it's going to be kind of southerly to southeasterly, uh, coming in from that sort of direction. The next model is uh, going to be the Brazilian model. So we go from Japan to Brazil. And everything else that you see from this point is going to be covering the full spring uh, 2020 period of March, April and May. This is 500 millibar height anomaly for the spring of 2020 from a Brazilian model. This one always does things a little bit different. So the brighter colours, yellow, or orange and red, with this is extrapolating to low pressure average heights, whereas the darker colours, blues and uh, purples, extrapolate to uh, above average heights, which is high pressure. Any other anomaly is a bit different to that. So for the spring, um, the Brazilian model has this trough of low pressure sitting just to our west. It looks like it's an unsettled spring and probably bringing in quite a lot of westerly winds as well. Temperature anomalies with the Brazilian model for this uh, spring are being forecast to be slightly above average, a rather mild and average spring on the way. If that's right, precipitation anomalies are forecast to be average to slightly wetter than average, especially to our south. So it looks like a mild but quite uh, wet, low pressure dominated spring. Uh, if anything, from the Brazilian model. Heading north to Canada, this is Tansips from tropicaltidbits.com. Again, this is mean or this is mean sea level pressure uh, anomaly. So with this one, we're going for low pressure up to our north, some higher pressure down to our south of the spring of 2020. And it looks like we're just feeding in generally quite a westerly flow from off the Atlantic. So nothing particularly dramatic going on this spring. Uh, with that one. Temperature anomalies from CANSIPS are forecast to be above average, going to be a mild and average spring coming up, not just from the UK, but from most parts of uh, Eurasia, actually, with above average temperatures. Precipitation wise, near normal to our south, it does seem to have been a little bit drier than average. That's where the high pressure is, uh, of course. Near normal precipitation with CANSIPS for the spring of 2020. 
Next, we move on to the IRI probability map. So this is from International Research Institute for Climate and Society, part of Earth Institute and Columbia University. This is the temperature probability for the spring of 2020 from IRI. And we're coming out with uh, sort of neutral probability, really, or normal. Uh, so we're neither favouring warmer or cooler than average for this spring. We're just favouring near normal temperatures, or possibly we have no signal. Northern parts of Europe, you'll notice, um, much stronger probability of a warmer than average spring there. But for us and Ireland and generally west of Europe, the um, probability is either favouring normal or there is no signal. Precipitation uh, probability from IRI for this spring looks like that. So again, weak signals. Um, possibly to the north, it favours being a little bit drier than average, below uh, below normal uh, probability for rainfall. Further south, maybe uh, favouring being slightly above normal for precipitation. But overall, it's not a particularly big signal either way. <coughs> Excuse me, overall, it's not a particularly big signal either way, either from temperature or precipitation in terms of probability. Patel Peng, next. So uh, these are analogues um, forecasts from Patel Peng. So what Patel does is take uh, the sea surface temperature anomalies across the world in any given month, in this case, uh, last month in December 2019, looks at those sea surface temperature anomalies and then uh, looks at parches that had similar sea surface temperature anomalies and then creates an analog based forecast going forward. Uh, Patel is working within the umbrella of NOAA but I think Patel is independent uh, of NOAA with these uh, forecasts. So this is the 200 millibar height anomaly from Patel Peng for the spring of 2020. Overall quite anti-cyclonic, above average heights tending to be to the west and south of the country, also extending to the north a little bit, some degree low pressure out to the northwest. Flurma jets going something a little bit like that. Looks rather like what the JMA is forecasting for this spring actually with quite a lot of anti-cyclonic influences. So we have a mild and average spring uh, being forecast by Patel Peng's analogs. Yes, temperature anomalies are above average for this spring. And it's a rather dry of an average spring uh, as well. If Patel's analogs are right, then we are in most drier, or we have got, we are within most dry of an average precipitation anomaly. So a dry and quite warm spring being forecast by Patel Peng's analogs. CFS V2, 700 millibar height anomaly for the spring uh, 2020. Looks like this. Unsettled, but average heights out to the northwest, above average heights down to our south southwest. And you'd expect to be feeding in a west southwesterly flow. A lot of that could be carrying over from the winter. Of course, it's been a very, very westerly winter, very Atlantic driven. Could be that the CFS V2 is forecasting uh, that to continue. Uh, as we go into the spring of 2020. Temperature anomalies of this spring forecast to be above average, especially so for northern and eastern parts of Europe, but even in the west for the UK, yes, we have above average temperature anomalies. Not substantially so, not significantly so, but nevertheless, up to a degree above average across western parts of Europe this spring and also quite unsettled yes it's going for above average precipitation for this spring with the cfs v2 for the uk and ireland which of course you'd expect as we're driving in uh, a westerly flow we've got low pressure up here and we've got high pressure down there so it's a westerly spring and more rain coming up for this spring uh, cfs is right as though we haven't had enough through the autumn and the winter uh, moving on to the uh, ECMWF. So, uh, again, this is uh, the mean sea level pressure anomaly from the ECMWF uh, seasonal model, System 5. And uh, we see that it's going for high pressure to be centred across central parts of Europe, lots of low pressure up to the north. Again, a lot of that could be carrying over from... Um, you know, from the winter pattern, generally quite a lot of westerly is coming in uh, with this uh, mean sea level pressure anomaly for the spring as well. Temperature anomalies of the spring of 2020 are forecast to be above average, going to be a milder than average spring if this is right by around uh, a degree at least above average. 
precipitation anomalies have no signal with those white colors uh, white shaded area just there that's indicative of no signal then we've got uh, Metro France at Copernicus. So again, this is mean silver pressure anomaly uh, for the spring of 2020 from Metro France. High pressure generally favoured to be close to the UK during the spring. Low pressure within the northern latitudes. A mild of an average spring is being forecast here. Not quite as much as the uh, ECM is forecasting, but nevertheless, around half a degree or so above average for the UK and for Ireland with temperature normally for Metro France this spring. And uh, again, for precipitation, there is no signal from Metro France. DWD, which is the German model, looks like this in terms of mean silver pressure anomalies for the spring of 2020. And yes, we're bringing in the westerlies once again. So we have low pressure out to the north and west of the country, near normal heights uh, elsewhere, or no signal. Looks rather westerly, both low pressure out to the northwest. Temperature anomalies from the DWD are forecast to be around half a degree to one degree above average. Very mild spring through northern Europe. For us, we are near norm, but we are above average. Precipitation wise, looking just a little bit wetter with the DWD, especially to the west of us. So perhaps a little bit more indicative of a wetter than average spring with uh, DWD. And then we've got the CMCC, which is the Mediterranean model. And this looks very westerly as well for the mean sea level pressure anomaly for this spring. Low pressure to our north. High pressure is still to our south. And in between, you'd expect to be bringing in westerly winds and the jet stream too. Temperature anomalies from the CMCC for the spring of 2020 look like that above average by around half a degree to one degree. Precipitation anomalies look a little bit wetter than average. So the DWD are the two wetter, hint at being a little bit wetter anyway for the spring. ECM and Metro France have no signal. They all look very westerly and Atlantic driven though. Uh, then we've got Jams Tech. So we move back to Japan and this is how the temperature anomaly is forecasting from Jams Tech for the spring of 2020. This is the first model we've seen that's going for something rather cold on average. But very often Jams Tech does seem to go the cold on average temperature anomalies for the UK. And then um, they don't verify. And in fact, Jams Tech normally finishes up quite warm. It is going for a slightly colder than average spring though is the Jams Tech, and also quite an unsettled spring as well. Uh, precipitation anomalies are forecast to be wetter than average, so it appears we're probably bringing in some sort of trough of low pressure around here, maybe have a ridge of high pressure around there, and that sends the jet stream a little bit southerly, so that explains why it's quite cool, but also potentially quite a wet spring too. Uh, over to China, so the Beijing Climate Centre, 500 millibar height anomaly for the spring of 2020 looks like this. Generally quite anti-cyclonic. The um, area of high pressure looks like it's centred more or less in the middle of the Atlantic. So we may be dipping the jet stream down a little bit uh, with this. There may be a bit, of, a bit of a dip in the jet stream, which, which would actually leave us just a little bit cooler and more unsettled than you might anticipate from the 500 millibar height anomaly. But nevertheless, it does look as though high pressure is dominating this spring, centred more or less to the west of the country. If we go to the 200 millibar height anomaly, uh, again, that's what it's showing, above average heights just out to our west. Um, no particularly apparent dip in rejection, but I think we could be bringing in sort of northwesterlies here some of the time. So it may not be overly mild with this spring. The temperature anomaly... Is near normal, really. It is cold and average out to our west, by the way, in the Atlantic. But for the UK and for Ireland, actually, the temperature anomaly is near normal. By the way, it's much easier to make us out now with these charts from the Beijing Climate Centre. They have um, sort of highlighted the land masses much, much better. So finally, we can see <laughs> where everyone is a lot better. We can see where we are, too. We're, of course, we're still uh, a little bit hard to find because we're perched on the very edge of the map on the right hand um, side as you're looking at it but uh, at least it's a little bit easier to make us out anyway the temperature anomaly looks very very close to average for this uh, spring and it is also going for a drier than average spring as well quite substantially so quite a strong 
driving average single. So on the face of it, that's pretty decent in terms of the uh, pattern of the spring. Just might be a little bit on the cool side. And then finally, we have uh, finish up with our very own, <coughs> excuse me, we finish up with our very own UK Met Office Glossy 5 model. Uh, so again, this is 500 millibar high. So it's not, it's mean sea level. It's been a very long day. It's been a very, very long day. So uh, this mean sea level pressure for the spring of um, 2020 and going for high pressure to be over and just to west south west west still lots of low pressure within the northern latitudes that's all left over from the polar vortex of winter of course quite a westerly spring being forecast there but probably not overly unsettled temperature anomalies from the uh, uk met office forecast to be above average a mild and average spring coming up and precipitation wise it looks a little bit wetter than average to our north that's where all the low pressure is of course up there but actually for most parts of the uk it looks like a rather drier spring drier than average spring uh potentially there if we are very lucky and uh, that is it. So uh, that's it for the um, first spring 2020 season around. I think clearly we have a trend going on there. And the trend is towards a westerly Atlantic driven type spring. Differing about how unsettled it is and the placement of the low pressure and high pressure. But overall, most of those bars are going for a mile and average spring and quite westerly. Some of them have influences from the high pressure from the Azores high, which keeps us mainly dry and uh, also potentially quite um, warm at times. Others have the low pressure much stronger. And in that scenario, then we co will come away with a wetter spring. And probably not quite as mild, but still, I would have thought, above average temperatures. So a westerly spring being in favour, but differing about how unsettled or settled the spring could be. Overall, probably favouring mild and unsettled, though. Right, so that's it uh, for the first spring 2020 season one roundup. We'll do it all over again at the end of February. That'll be the last one, uh, of course. And then we'll put uh, the season one roundup, the season models, if you like, together with the analogues updates. And we'll issue the gas for the spring 2020 forecast on the 1st of March. Talking of uh, analogues updates, so tomorrow, very busy day. We're going to start off with some more spring 2020 analogs and we'll have gals on this sunday roundup too uh and there could be a little update for the summer so uh, i don't talk too much about that until i release the video but we have got something coming up for the summer of 2020 tomorrow afternoon so that's a bit of fun but it should be quite an interesting watch uh, they'll do ensembles watch um on sunday evening so very very busy uh day coming up the rest of today is going to be quite busy as well. Weekend forecast and week's 10-day video update will be with you later on this afternoon. This video will be placed on the spring updates and forecast page with a written summary going over everything that we discuss in the video. And I'll get that up for you this evening. But for the first spring 2020 season one roundup, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.